Why can't I walk on my heels? Variety of reasons for that. I would say the main reason I can think of is because you can't lift your foot up. So if you have weakness in the muscles that lift the foot, then of course you're not going to be able to walk on your heel and your toes going to hit first. The other reason is, is you have spasticity. So that in the calf muscle, which is just involuntary pointing down of the foot, if you have spasticity, I've talked about this a ton on this channel, definitely you have to get in with an orthotist and get a custom articulated AFO, a night splint at night to just keep it stretched out. Those things will set you up for success. So even if the muscles on the front of the leg are weak, you have to address that tightness or that pointing down all the time so that you have full range of motion to lift that foot up. So two reasons why that might happen, weakness in the muscles that lift the foot up or spasticity in the muscles that point the foot down. So make sure you're addressing both of those, stretching the calf muscles and everything on the back of the leg so that the foot has the mobility to lift up. And then you would want to next work on strengthening the muscles to lift the foot. The best position to strengthen the muscles initially to lift the foot is with the knee bent. You guys have heard me talk about like abnormal synergy patterns a lot, how muscles like link up together abnormally. Well, a synergy pattern in this case is actually something that you can use to your benefit. So a flexor synergy pattern is when the knee bends, the foot lifts, dorsiflexes. So when the knee bends, foot dorsiflexes, those two things sometimes after a stroke link up together and you can use that to your benefit in this case. So if you start with your knees bent, there's a higher likelihood that you'll tap into that flexor synergy and be able to lift your foot up. So working on ankle dorsiflexion, either sitting or what we call hook lying. Hook lying is when you're lying on your back with your knees bent in kind of like a bridge position. Those would be the two positions that I would start to work on lifting the foot up to eventually work on heel walking. But I will tell you, I have patients that they're starting to get strength back in the muscles that lift the foot up, but heel walking is like a whole nother beast because it also impacts your balance. So when you feel off balance, then your foot kind of wants to point if you have struggled with spasticity in the past. So heel walking is like on the next level. So I think you have to have really strong ankle dorsiflexors before you're going to feel comfortable or before you're going to be successful with really getting like a heel walking motion and where your the front of your foot isn't dropping down at all. If you liked that video, check out these two videos down here. If you want even more support or ideas on how to improve your overall health and movement quality, check out our gold membership program. As a member of that program, you will get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly live Q&A where you can get your specific questions answered. I enjoyed spending time with you all today, and I will see you here on YouTube in the next video.